Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Another gorgeous morning here at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. We're about an hour away from low tide here. 74 degrees, expecting the highs up in the mid to upper 80s. Absolutely beautiful out here. No red tide. No red tide. Water temperatures around 81. Partly cloudy here. A slight chance of rain later today. Happy Saturday, everybody. see much of anything out on this sandbar here. Looks pretty darn flat. Not really much of anything out here. Huh. There's those little ripples in the sand. I love those patterns that the waves leave as the tide goes out. That is so cool. Water looks nice out here. Beautiful as we look around. Absolutely gorgeous as we look all the way around here, looking out to the east. Whoa. Little snowy eager just we were right by us. There's a big live cockle shell out here in front of us. You can see it sticking out the side of the shell there. That's the cockle right there. Beautiful shells, the cockle shells. That's a nice sized cockle there. It's just closing up. Just closing up. But there you can see the heart that the cockle shell makes when you hold it on its end. The cockle shell heart. That is so neat. friend Barbara Grove. She taught me that, showed me that. See how it makes a heart when you turn it on its side? Isn't that cool? I was hoping he'd come out of his shell. There's another one down here. Another 
little baby cockle down here crawling around they go into their shell pretty quickly when you pick them up right there you can see the heart there as well two cockles The little puckles are all over here. I just tripped on one. Well, here's one that's open. Here, you can get a look inside there. You can kind of see the cockle inside the shell there. It's gorgeous out here this morning. If you've been following along on our beach walks, you know I love the view from out here on the sandbars. Looking back at the beach, this gives you a nice perspective of the beach when you're a little farther out. Here's a cockle. Oh. It was, darn it. It was out of its shell and kind of digging in the sand. Darn it. Yeah, it went back in its shell. Darn it. I guess they can sense the vibrations when you walk up and get close to them. We're just here as we look to the south. Couple seagulls sitting out there on the sandbar. Let's see maybe five seagulls and one little snowy egret, a little snowy egret over there. Boy, that sun is bright when you look out to the east here. Whew. Really bright. Gorgeous morning now. Look at that sky. Bear with me. I'm going to take a quick photo. Don't go anywhere. Sorry about that. I'm back. <laughs> Well, let's walk up the beach, head up to the north, and see what we find. Water's gorgeous, look at that. See the sun reflecting there on the bottom, the, the ripples there, the reflections. Absolutely beautiful. Favorite view, looking north up the beach. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Is that not beautiful?
nice seeing some little white clouds up there. Nice little change of pace from the clear blue skies we were having. Another little snowy egret. Beautiful little birds. What does Mother Nature have in store for us this morning? Thursday. Didn't do a beach walk yesterday. Thursday, during Thursday's beach walk, we got a glimpse of a school of stingrays offshore. That was pretty cool. rougher than it was the past couple days there. It's not as flat out there in the Gulf as it was. A little harder to spot the dolphins if they come by. Unless hopefully they might come right up to shore for us. And neat, the patterns in the sand. That's so cool. Well, there's a little cockle shell that's opened up. There's a little cockle, you can see the little cockle sticking out the side of the shell there. But as soon as I pick it up, it'll close up. What? Oh, just snapped at me. <laughs> the little baby cockle. See if he comes out, it comes out. Open up there. There it is. <laughs> ah, look at it. It's siphon there. That was pretty big. Did you see that? Now yeah, we closed up. He's going to come back out. It's kind of hard holding it when they do that. It's a feisty little cockle. Put him here in the sand. Maybe he'll come out again. A little keep an eye on them here for a second. Gonna come out. 
Oh, maybe not. Oh well, a live cockle. Well, there goes some pelicans. See them flying by right there. What a gorgeous Saturday morning. A little snowy egret over there in the water. Looking for a fish. Waiting for breakfast to come swimming by. Oh, that's not a little snowy. That's a, that's a great uh, white heron. A great white heron. Wow, neat. We've seen the blue, the great blue, there's a white. Absolutely gorgeous. Another one of the beautiful species of birds here on the beach. So cool. Yep. Startled by somebody walking up the beach there. I'm gonna cross back over, get off the sandbar and back up on the beach. I wonder if we'll see any of our osprey friends in the trees this morning. This is looking north. We're walking north. little sandpipers running around in front of me. Can you see them kind of in the shade here? They're just kind of scattered. Great morning. That water picking up the blue of the sky. Absolutely gorgeous.
Well, our osprey, one of our osprey friends is not in its usual spot up here. A lot of times we'll find an osprey perched right up here on this branch. Not this morning. Maybe they're further up the beach this morning. Beautiful colors though. Gorgeous morning. Yeah, the one thing I'm noticing here is with these, we've been having these, they seem much lower than usual low tides. And with them, there's been a lot of little tidal pools and lagoons like developing between the sandbars and the beach and the water's getting kind of stagnant in them. It's actually starting to stink in some places. There's a little olive shell. Nice little olive shell, missing the tip there. An olive shell. We found some pretty big olive shells on this beach. Not a lot of shells out here this morning. This past week, it's not been the best shelling week. We're not quite at low tide yet, at least according to the internet. See, this is the sand that's starting to get exposed and drying out, and it's just got kind of a funky smell to it. Normally, where I'm walking is underwater. See a piece of a big old lightning welt shell up in front of me. Boy, that would have been a neat find, a big piece of a lightning welt. That would have been a great shell to find on the beach. Look how old that is. That's a good size lightning welt. It's got barnacles all over it. You can see the inside of it. Cool looking shell. Boy, that would have been an awesome find. If that was in good shape. Still cool looking. I'm sure somebody will pick it up. Make a nice little conversation piece. And they get much they get bigger than that, believe it or not, the whelks. Kind of neat looking in there. Somebody will take that home with them, I'm sure. Another old piece of an old shell here. Look at that. That's an old 
piece of an old fighting comp there. Not much left to that. A little Florida fighting comp. Take a few steps back here. Another one of the little sandbars here that popped up at low tide. Seagulls. Some of our feathered friends. Gulls, and then right out in the front of the gulls, there's one lone turn. One little turn all by itself there in front of the gulls. Flashing around in the water, taking a bath. Yeah, I just dried off and walking back to the beach. <laughs> I love my mornings out here at the beach, that's for sure. I love sharing them with you. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I always look forward to meeting some of our followers when they come down from up north and or from overseas. We got friends from all around the world here watching. I look forward to seeing you at the beach someday. I've met so many wonderful people because of these live feeds. And there's been some great friendships formed on these live feeds because of these live feeds. People have actually become friends. And more than Facebook friends, I mean personal friends. So be sure to introduce yourself when you come online here. Let everybody know where you're watching from, especially if you're new to the group. There's one big happy beach family here. <laughs> Look at the size of the sandbar here. Look at the size of the beach. This is the south end of Area 4. Look at how much beach there is right now. 
absolutely incredible. All because of the low tide. Now when the tide comes in, all of this beach out here will be underwater. This will all go underwater out here. And the water will be right up to there somewhere, right in that area. Just amazing, the differences in the tides. And just recently, it just seems like recently they've been getting more extreme like this. Somebody commented, where's all the water going? Where did the water go? I don't know, maybe somebody pulled the plug out in the Gulf of Mexico and they're draining it. <laughs> There's something else you find on the beach if you're not finding seashells. Just because all the birds returning to the beach, you can find some nice little feathers on the beach. A lot of people collect feathers. This looks like a feather from the seagull. Look at all of this beach. Shark tooth bill. He is going to be amazed when he shows up here. He should be getting into town soon. Our friends from Canada. He is going to be amazed at how much the speech has changed while he's been gone. I come out here several times a week and it amazes me. <laughs> I can't imagine what it's like if you haven't been here for eight months. I've seen it changing gradually, but over the past year it has changed dramatically. see all of our turns are up here just ahead of me up there those little white dots hopefully nobody will scare them away please respect the wildlife all wildlife not just here at the park but everywhere when you're at the beach here you're on their turf this isn't our beach it's the birds beaches and the raccoons and the ospreys and the fish. This beach belongs to them. So hopefully I can get around these guys without startling them. I walk really slow. Try not to make any sudden movements. I love, love watching these birds. My Saturday morning bird watching up here. Oh, they'll be right back. They just took off. What they do is they circle out into the Gulf 90% of the time. And they'll come right back. See if we can follow them back here. I don't know if you can see them out there. He's flying all around us. How are you doing? I just wanted to say thank you for oh. you know, beach walks and for keeping us up on Roy. Oh. We've got like full. Oh, sweet. Um, you're welcome to go visit them. I posted the address periodically. Yeah.
feel free. And, and um, darn, the birds aren't coming back. They usually come right back. Um, if you knock on the door and, and you know, if he doesn't answer, you can sit out on the back for a while. Okay. He just says, just take your bed. Just tell me, tell people to walk around the back. And <laughs> okay. Y'all have time to bake. You got to bake with Oh, yeah. <laughs> he loves his treats. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for Well, thank you for watching. Oh, wow. I was just talking about that when a follower comes and says hi here. That was just so cool. One of our Facebook followers introducing herself to me here. That was so neat. Well, I don't know where those darn birds went. I definitely was not close enough to spook them. There is a guy fishing over here on the other side of this little inlet there. He might have spooked him when he cast his line out there. Darn it, I was hoping they'd come back. They might come back. I'm going to go up the beach a little further. This is just incredible to it this morning. I mean, I'm just blown away by how much beach is out here this morning. Absolutely blown away. For those of you that follow along, I'm sure you can see the difference here from six months ago. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, I am pretty far out here. The beach is the end up there. That was that was the beach right there. So, look at it now. Hey, tomorrow is a special day, Veterans Day. Don't forget about our veterans, please. Take the time to honor our veterans tomorrow. If you know a veteran, shake his hand, her hand. Give him or her a hug. Tell him thank you. It's because of them that we can live in freedom in this beautiful country, the United States of America. Sure, we have our little problems. Most of those <laughs> we create ourselves. All in all, uh, this is a beautiful country that we live in. And this little piece of it right here that I'm at. This is God's country right here. disappointed that we aren't finding as many shells as we used to before the red tide but hopefully they'll start coming back here the red tide took its toll on everything not just fish on on our sea stars, on our sand dollars, on our shellfish. These are fun little spots to look for things. See this water just running through here between the beach and the, and the sandbar? It's almost like a little creek. Sometimes some 
pretty neat stuff gets caught up in here. These little tidal pools. See how they just kind of make these little rivers here. That's so cool. But I do not see anything here. A lot of times, right along these little edges is where you'll find some neat, some neat shells. Not much anything there. Little baby conch shell, an olive shell on the left, a little baby fighting conch on the right. can't remember the name of these shells. Darn it. I always forget the name of these. Kind of neat. It looks like a screw on the end of it. But I can never remember the name of these darn things. Sucks to get old. <laughs> This afternoon, <clears throat> this, this afternoon, we're going to be selling, uh, celebrating the life of one of my good friends. He passed away four months ago. Forty-eight years old. He was one of those guys that took care of everybody around him but didn't take care of himself. You gotta take care of yourself if you wanna take care of other people. Our friend Chris Grenier, we sure do miss him. Well, Back up the want to go up here a little bit further. See what things look like. <clears throat> we started down in area two. Five there's five parking lots here and the beaches, they call them the areas. Areas one through five. Area one is the closest to the main entrance. Area five's up at the north end of the pass of the park at Wiggins Pass. We're in area four right now. Area is one and four, probably the biggest. Good. How are you doing today? Yeah, this water's getting stagnant. This shallow water. Really? Yeah, it's horrible. 
What did did it smell like this or? It's it's a little bit of red tide. You smelled red yeah. tide, huh? Yeah, we found uh, she found sixteen yesterday. Sixteen shark's 17. teeth. We probably found a good ten today already. It's kind of nice, nice shargle tooth. Uh, really? Yeah. Wow. I'm so jealous. Uh, I, I left a lot the down there for you. I left oh, a lot of them. Yeah, I saw tons of them. I didn't want them. I hope they were. <laughs> oh, they were huge. No, you're the man. <laughs> How's work going for you? Good, good. good? Yep, yep. You it's, will. you know, it's, it's always hit and miss, but you just never know. I can't complain, though. Yeah, do you track people uh, watching your your uh, site? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah it's amazing how good. many people watch. Is there a lot? Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Do right. you, you get sponsors and donations? Is that how you keep going? Uh, sometimes people make a little donation. I'd like to figure out how to get a sponsor. I mean, I think it'd be great, like, if a hotel or something. Yeah. Like, use this to advertise. Yeah, I mean, especially uh, down in this general yeah, area. Yeah, you know, we got a couple nice, or even a, a nice seafood restaurant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's where everybody wants to go when they come down here. <laughs> yep. But, yeah. All right, good luck. That couple, they find more shark's teeth out on this beach. He said he found 16 shark's teeth out here yesterday. Absolutely amazing. That was incredible. Me, I find zero. I walk right past them and never see them. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Here's a little slipper shell. Nice and smooth on the back side, the little slipper shell. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, part of the little chamber. There's a little piece there broke off, but normally when you flip it over, it looks like a little shoe, a little slipper, a little bedroom slipper. And what do we got down there? Oh, an old turkey wing shell. Pretty faded though, turkey wing. Speaking of which, Turkey Day is just around the corner. I've not seen our dolphins for almost a week now. I wonder where they're hiding at. That's looking south, looking down to the south, and up into the gulf to the west. We've got to reset the gimbal here. Hang on a minute. Got to turn it off and turn it back on. There we go. Let's Trying to fight me as I was walking along here. The gimbal's this little little stabilizing unit that I put the iPhone in. Takes a lot of the bounce out. Smooths the video out a lot. Yeah, I'd love to have somebody sponsor these beach walks. That'd be awesome. I've always thought it'd be a great platform for one of our local hotels to kind of connect to. I can give them a shout out now and then, and link to their website. There's some nice little hotels close to this beach. Got the double tree. The double tree is probably the closest at the North Naples, the double tree in. That is probably the closest hotel to this beach.
then the little playa down to the south on Vanderbilt Beach. The inn at Pelican Bay, that's not too far away. But anything on the beach, of course, that's going to be really expensive. If you are looking for a nice room, I would definitely suggest the Double Tree. Look at that, free advertising. Hmm. Look at all of this beach. Lots of rocks down here. Lots of big rocks. That's our buddy Roy's Beach right there. We're on Roy's Beach now. Our good friend Roy. That's where he and I would have our conversations under those pine trees over there, under those group of pines. He'll be back one of these days. He will be back. He just had a visit at the doctor the other day. The doctor said, no beach, Roy. Not yet. He was chomping at the bit to get out here. We all miss him, that's for sure. Wow. We actually have beach up here. There's usually no beach up there. Amazing. There's usually no beach. We have to, normally to get up to the end of the park, we have to walk, there's a path that parallels the beach here behind those trees. We have to take that path up to, the, to Wiggins Pass. We might be able to just walk the beach up there this morning. We'll check that out. Just gorgeous as we look around here. Sun rising over here. Pan down to the south. I did not smell any red tide. Our friend said he smelled red tide. I did not smell any red tide. I do smell the, the, that smell of the sand when it sits out in the sun drying out here. It gets that kind of, smells kind of gross, but it's because we're at that at low tide. It's kind of a mucky kind of sand down here. seeing if anything got caught up in here. A lot of times this is where we'll find some nice little shells. I am not seeing anything. Piece of an old sand dollar. Just the edge. Just a corner of what was a kind of a large sand dollar. Just the edge of it. Piece of an old, old banded tulip shell. Me and my broken shells. I'm always finding broken shells. Loving that sky. There were some white clouds up here earlier this morning when we started. Now they've kind of blown offshore. A 
have not heard any ospreys in the trees this morning. Wonder where they went. We're just crossing into Area 5 now at the north end of the park. It's been a while since we were up at Wig that went up to Wiggins Pass. Maybe we'll get up there this morning. I always take the long way. I walk out onto all the sandbars, take advantage of the low tide, always hoping to find something out here. Oh, there's always hope that the tide will bring something different in every day. morning we got a glimpse of a great white heron that was different usually we've been we've been seeing great blue herons saw a white one this morning that was the the first for this season A couple days ago when we I came out I got an extra I got an hour earlier start on my beach walk I forget what day that was I think it was oh was it Tuesday we came out and boy we're finding little sand dollars all over the first sand bar we walked out on Wow. What phase is the moon in? I did not pay attention to the moon. The moon definitely affects our tides here. Oh, somebody must have put these here to take a picture. Some nice fighting conch shells. Look at this one. Look at the colors on that Florida fighting conch shell. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the stripes. That is really cool. Very, very cool. Hey, Hi, how are you doing? Morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. What'd you find? Little oh, ones. Olive shells, nice. I love nice. this one. That is, I think that's the conch shell, a little baby one. Yeah. I think, a little baby, one yeah. of those, just faded. <laughs> So you're enjoying your time already. Already. <laughs> Aren't you? Yes. Yeah. How can you not enjoy it? Another day in paradise. Isn't it amazing how much yeah. sand there is today? Hasn't been there like this all the years before. No. This is all kind of new in the past yeah. three, four months. It really has been changing a lot. I haven't seen any dolphins, though. Have you seen any dolphins? Yesterday, yeah. Yesterday you saw some? Yeah. But not right now. What time? Was it early? Or? Um, about noon. noon time? Oh, okay. So they're coming out later. 
<laughs> How long do you stay here? It's your first episode. No, I mean in the in the day in the uh, daytime. Like two or three? Really? Almost all day. <laughs> wow. I don't blame you. I would if I could. <laughs> I mean it's my holiday and I Right, exactly. It's like meditation and everything walking meditation. on the beach. It is. Listening to the waves. Right. Yeah, it so, is. See you later. All right, take Bye. care. So many good people out here. So many good people. Sorry, that was me just flicking off a photo. If you enjoy these beach walks, be sure to hit the share button. And if you're new, be sure to introduce yourself to the group. Let everybody know where you're watching from. What did you find? Oh, a little cockle. Two little cockle shells. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what's neat? See when you hold it like yeah. that, it makes a little heart. Can you see right. the heart? So you see the heart when you look at it? See how Aww. it looks like a heart? <laughs> see that? Yeah. But that's bringing in. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, they're they're fine on the sandbar. <laughs> yeah, but maybe some people get them out. Oh yeah, some people eat them. <laughs> no. The little baby cockle shells. We saw one earlier. He came out and this little siphon tube stuck his siphon tube out and was thrashing around in my hand. This guy's closed up tight. The little cockles. See? Can you see the heart there? Kind of cool. I like showing that to people. You'll find those little cockles out on these sandbars. Usually they're pretty much buried, but you do see them sticking up once in a while. Found a nice big one this morning. In the beginning of our beach walk. <clears throat> but this is kind of a treat here, having this beach up here to walk on. Usually this is all underwater up there. You see the water is pretty darn clear here. See, we've had a lot of erosion here. This started back with Hurricane Irma, September of 2017. And it's just been slowly eroding ever since. But I'm gonna show you something interesting. I mean, yes, we have erosion, but at the same time, we'll have a big storm comes in, dump sand up on the beach. And I'm gonna show you something. See this right there. That's the old boardwalk that used to come out to the beach. So over the years, look at all the sand that's gotten pushed up on the beach. Yep, now we're on the down swing here with the erosion. But this beach is just constantly changing. And being a state park, they really don't do much of anything to re-nourish the beach here. They just let mother nature run her course You can see they don't do anything they just leave these old tree stumps here to eventually maybe wash out in the gulf or decay but all these used to be up on the beach so you can see how much beach we've lost here
See how these, the beach is washed away and these trees have just fallen over. Beautiful Saturday morning here in North Naples. Really starting to warm up. When we first came out, it was 74. It's probably up close to 80 by now already. Maybe 78. Expecting a high today in the mid to upper 80s. Little chance of rain later today. Slight, slight chance of rain. That water is 80, about 81 degrees. Somebody interrupting our beach walk by trying to call me here with an unknown number. One of those stupid robo calls. I wish they could put a device on your phones that would blow their system up when they call you. <laughs> I mean, it gives them the right to annoy you on your personal cell phone. Idiotic. It's fun though to answer the phone once in a while and play with them. Scream and yell at them or lead them on like you're really interested in what they're talking about. <laughs> Sometimes I'll answer and I'll just set the phone down and let them talk to themselves for a while. I hear an osprey somewhere in the woods back there. I heard an osprey chirp. This is a treat being able to walk up here. Like I said, this is usually all underwater here. There's a big, big piece of finger coral down here. I heard an, I swear I heard an osprey up in that pine tree there. There's our Chicago friend. Hey, how are you, sir? Mr. Chicago. Thank you. <laughs> how are you doing? Welcome Very back. Good. Thank Welcome you. Welcome back. Welcome back. I love it. Yeah. You, it's, you came back at a good time, you know? Good no time. red tide. That's all gone. Right, right. That's why right here they was before, a couple of weeks ago, it right? It was horrible. I know, that's what for, they tell me. For months, months and months. Yeah. It was really bad. And nobody can show up here, right? Nobody. The beach was empty. No people. Oh my god. But now that's it's now it's getting better. Yeah, there was we, nothing. There was no fish in the water, no dolphins, no birds. Yeah, and first day when I come and we was on the beach Tuesday, then I saw two dolphins. I make a movie. So you got the video there. of the dolphins? Video, right. yeah. yeah. That's so nice. They're know? beautiful. I yeah. love that's my favorite. Seeing the dolphins in the, the morning. Big one. What, how are you doing with your shells? I'm doing great. Yeah? Hey, my daughter. Hello. Uh, how are you? Okay, I'll see you Have later. Have a nice one yep. day. Yep. Hi. Hi, love you. One of our winter residents returning to Southwest Florida. Very seasonal here. You don't know anything about Naples. Oh, Naples is a very, very seasonal town. Southwest Florida, very seasonal. 
folks come down from the north and spend their winters here. Naples is kind of on the pricey side. A little less expensive up to the north, up in Lee County, Fort Myers, Fort Myers Beach. There are a lot, a lot of wealthy people here in Naples. Boy, right around this corner is Wiggins Pass. Part of the namesake of the park here, Delnor Wiggins Pass State Park. This is where the fishermen come. And just on the other side, that's Wiggins Pass there. And just on the other side of Wiggins, that's Barefoot Beach Preserve, another beautiful, beautiful beach. Over 6,200 feet of beach over there. It's a lot of beach to walk. 62 or 68, I forget exactly how much. Quite the low tide here. Oh, here's a cockle shell down here. Remember I showed you a little live cockle. Here's half of a big cockle shell. Beautiful, the cockle shells. Some little sandpipers running around there. Before the red tide, we used to find piles of sand dollars out here, piles of them. Unfortunately, that red tide came along and killed a lot of them. During the red tide outbreak, I mean, our beach was just covered with little sand dollars, dead little baby sand dollars. Same down by the Naples Pier, they were everywhere, just piles of them. Pretty sad. See the birds, those are terns flying out there. This water is pretty shallow out here. Not even knee deep where I'm at. Paddle border out there, heading south down the beach. I'm going to turn around. You can see how far out I am from the beach. I walked a pretty good little ways out here. Beautiful out here, though. There is a big... Oh, I thought it was a ray. No. It's just it's a piece of concrete. Huh. I thought it was a ray down there for a second. We do have stingrays out here. The other morning, Thursday morning, we happened to get a glimpse of a big school of stingrays swimming by. That was neat. Can you imagine the views from that condo there? Up on the top floor at sunset out here into the Gulf. Pretty pricey. A pretty hefty price tag on those condos. You can Google it. 
that one big one there that largest condo that's called Kalia I think it's Kalia Bay Kalia with a K Kalia you can check out the prices of them online <laughs> out of my budget So neat. Walking out into the pass here. It's an incredibly beautiful morning. Zoom in here in a minute. I'm going to show you. You can see Fort Myers Beach from here. This app, absolutely amazing. See all those buildings to the left? On the right, it's Lely, Barefoot Beach. Then more towards the center, that's Estero Boulevard. Condos of Anita, Anita Beach, and you'll see a break in between them, and then to the left, that's Fort Myers Beach. All those buildings up there. <clears throat> a couple boats heading out here. It's a beautiful day. I can't blame them. You see all the birds sitting over there? Oh, they just all took off. Look at that. You see them in the background there? Wow. Pelicans, terns, seagulls, all kinds of birds. Wow, that was pretty neat. See them all coming back now? Wow. That's cool. Look at all the boats going out this morning. All right, a friend of mine just got a new boat. He's so excited. All he's been talking about for the past week is his new boat. What a gorgeous view! It's so clear, it's so clear out here this morning. Taking a couple pictures. Another boat heading out the pass here. Hey, if you enjoy these beach walks, remember nobody pays me to do it. I enjoy doing it, but if you want to make a little contribution, it always comes in handy and it's always, always appreciated. Helps pay the phone bill and other little incidental things. Look at that, absolutely beautiful colors out there. It's gorgeous. See how that water changes colors here as we get to the, the channel of the pass. Just drops off here.
There's Barefoot Beach over there. Nice low tide this morning. Low, low tide. I'll look back at the point there in Area 5. Area 5 Beach. A lot of people taking advantage of the low tide and walking out here. Beautiful out here though, absolutely gorgeous. Anything else interesting? Oh, you got a handful. <laughs> Next time I have to bring a bag. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice, a nice conch mm -hmm. shell, a big cockle yeah. shell. Nice. Sweet little one. Yeah. Nice no, but little. Especially this one. Yep. The olive shells are neat. Yeah. Very neat. It's better than nothing. Treasures <laughs> of the beach. Yep. You got that right. Treasures of the beach. See you tomorrow. Yep. I was kind of hoping to see our friend Mike, Fisherman Mike up here, but no. I haven't seen Mike now for a little while. Sometimes we come up here and spot a couple dolphins swimming around in the pass. Looks like the tide is still going out. Some folks out there walking on the sandbar, taking advantage of that low tide. It's not every day that you get to walk out there in less than knee deep water. There's two jet skis making their way out the pass. They're down by that orange marker down there. Sometimes the dolphins get curious and follow them.
No dolphins behind him. Every once in a while they'll get lucky and the dolphins will just cruise right along with the jet skis. It's nice to see them abiding by the rules here, going nice and slow. Very popular down here, the jet skis. get to take off here. There they go. Down the beach they go. Out into the gulf and down the beach. Fun sport. That is a fun sport. It's like riding a motorcycle in the water. Well, let's head back down the beach. See if we missed anything. Gorgeous colors here. Well, I think we're at low tide now. We should be right about at low tide. The tide will be turning here any minute. Start coming back in. We could walk right across here with no problem out to where those people are out there. I don't know if you can see them. Not on the sandbar, but this water is no more than knee deep between us and them right now. A nice little beach walk so far this morning. Out here a little longer than expected. But I wanted to take advantage of the opportunity to walk up to Wiggins Pass with this low tide. We had a little extra beach where we normally don't have any beach to walk on so I could get up to the pass. Huh. Here's an old, old cone shell. That's a really old, old alphabet cone. Pretty worn out, it's lost all its colors, but that's a cone shell. I found a really nice one of those in the beginning of the week. A really nice cone shell. 
an alphabet cone. You can just see a little of the colors on the top of it. So nice to see people of all ages out here enjoying the beach. Absolutely beautiful Saturday morning. These are all trees that got knocked down by Hurricane Irma last September. Used to be like a canopy here on the beach. You'd walk at low tide, you'd walk under this canopy of trees along here. But thanks to Irma, it's no longer here. People don't realize how long it takes to recover from a hurricane. You know, Irma hit us last September, September 2017. And there are still homes that have blue tarps on the roofs, still have not gotten their roofs repaired. And that is nothing compared to the devastation that Michael wreaked up in the panhandle. Oh, I mean, there were homes that were actually obliterated up there. Just horrible. This seems like it's one little natural disaster after another. Fires out in California, hurricanes in Florida. This is a real treat right here where I'm walking. There's normally no beach here. The water is usually right up, right up in here. Because of this super low tide, we've got a little bit of a beach left here. A little bit of a beach this morning. There's something out in the water I wanna show you. It's kind of funny. I've not seen this for a long, long time. Cannot see my screen is so dark here. Let me try this again. Come on, the where I put in the shade here. But that dark spot out there, that's a big piece of iron. I don't know if you can see it out there. It's a big piece of iron that's been submerged there forever. They've tried yanking it out, but it's they've not had any success. But people stop and stare at it once in a while. When it's low tide like this, there's a little corner of it that pops up. People think it's a manatee. People think it's a dolphin. Roy and I used to tell people it was a, it was a manatee out there, and they'd be taking pictures of it. It's just a big old chunk of them. 
I've walked out there to it many a times. Found some neat little fish swimming around it and little crabs. There's a paddle boarder heading out. Nice morning for paddle boarding. Relatively flat out there. Boy, a lot more people at the beach than there were earlier when we started our beach walk. Yeah, it looks like the tide is definitely starting to come back in here. This beach here, this really isn't the beach, it's just low tide, but this, we used to have a beach. It was probably about three feet higher. It used to come way out, way out to here. This was one of the biggest points at the beach here. And just in the past year and a half, it disappeared. If you enjoy these beach walks, be sure to tell your friends about them. Make sure you follow and like, both follow and like Southwest Florida Television. I always post the replay of these beach walks on YouTube. The replay will be on Facebook and YouTube. So you can just scroll through it at your leisure. I always say this several times throughout my beach walk, sorry, but nobody pays me to come out and do this. And every once in a while, someone will send a little contribution, a little donation. I really appreciate that. Every little bit helps. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post. If you're ever watching a live feed and you're wondering where it's at or what it's about, if you if the person did their their job right and set up their live feed right, you click on that little red live button up in the corner of the screen and it should give you the information. Isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous colors there this morning. Absolutely beautiful.
Another Saturday morning in paradise, that's for sure. This is my favorite thing to do, just stand offshore the beach and admire the beach. I just love taking it in. It just puts a whole different perspective on the beach. You're so used to standing on the beach and looking out in the gulf. But it's nice to stand out in the water and look back at the beach. It is a beautiful sight. Look at that sky, just beautiful blue sky. Absolutely gorgeous. There's an old olive, sh olive shell, pretty good sized olive shell. That's a pretty good size olive. Kids playing out in the water. Look how low this tide is though. Look at all this extra beach we got here. Water is just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous out here. It is not 100% perfect pristine yet. But it's a million times better than it was a month ago.
looking back at Roy's Beach. It's gorgeous. a little hard to walk along here. Lots of big rocks. Big rocks and big broken shells. Hey, if you're just joining us for the first time, if this is your first beach walk with us, be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. Don't be afraid to strike up a conversation in the comments. It doesn't bother me. You can talk about whatever you want, except politics. Let's keep that off of here. I'm the only one that can talk about politics. I don't do that very often. Kids jumping around out there in the water. Oh, what it would be like to be young again. out here on the sandbar. We saw a lot of live cockles earlier this morning. A lot of live cockle shells on these sandbars. Trying to 
give you another look at that water. Oh, there goes some pelicans flying by. Looking great. Missing our dolphins. Or if one of our friends said they were out here, the dolphins came by yesterday around noon. You just never know when they're gonna come by. They're not on our schedule, they're on their own schedule. But it's always fun to see them. Always exciting to see the dolphins. I'm not talking about the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> There's a nice little view up the beach north with the little tidal pools. Quite a difference at low tide here, quite a difference. We didn't get to see all of our turns this morning. We're, I was just getting ready to walk up and get some video of them and they took off. Somebody walked up behind me. Or actually, no, actually it was, um, there was a fisherman and he cast his line out and it just, I think that's what startled him. So we didn't get to see all of our birds this morning. They took off and didn't come back. They usually just fly out into the gulf and come right back. For some reason this morning they left. <laughs> Couple little seagulls sitting there. Two little seagulls. Well, more and more people starting to show up at the beach. I can't blame them. It's going to be a gorgeous weekend, holiday weekend. Remember, Monday is a holiday. Tomorrow is Veterans Day. Don't forget about our veterans, please. If you know a veteran, shake their hand. Shake his or her hand. Give him or her a hug. Thank them for their service for what they do to protect our freedom. I don't care what anybody says. The United States of America is the greatest country in the world, the greatest nation. God bless America. Amazing as we look up the beach here. Love it. Look all the way up to Fort Myers Beach from here. Just amazing. Just amazing. You look off in the distance. Those condos in the background, you can see all the way up to Fort Myers Beach. 
just amazing. Quite a view there. I got my screen stuck again. Ugh. Sorry about that, hang on a second. Darn it, this happens to me. The screen goes dark here on me from being out in the sun. And I can't get it out of the zoom mode. Hang on one second. Bear with me, I'm sorry. Can't see where we're at. <laughs> I cannot see the screen at all. I apologize. It's just not responding to my touch. I gotta back up, get up into the shade somewhere. Bear with me here for a minute. That's a problem with these iPhones. I don't know if Androids do it, but your screen just goes dark on you when you're out in the bright light. When you've been out for a while, it just goes dark. You can't see anything. There we go. Sorry about that. And that's what happens when you're live. The ups and downs of a live feed. I'll give you one more look around here before signing off. I want to thank everybody for watching this morning. I hope you enjoyed our beach walk. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take the time to check out my photos and videos here. Lots of good stuff here. Lots of great pictures from this beach. Some photos of the Naples Pier, some other locations around town videos as well. And as always, remember, nobody pays me to do this. And if you want to make a little contribution, it's always welcome and always appreciated. I do spend a lot of time out here doing this. I enjoy it, but I'm also trying to provide a service to our friends here, keeping them informed of what's going on at our beach in North Naples. Those of you that have sent a little something, thank you so much. You can always find my PayPal account information in the descriptions of these posts. But hey, have a fantastic 
Saturday. Have a wonderful and safe holiday weekend. Remember the reason for this holiday. It's our veterans. Don't forget about our veterans. God bless all those men and women in our armed forces. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.